Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, with the release of Capcom's masterpiece in Resident Evil 4 Remake, I wanted to take a look at one of my absolute favorite Resident Evil games with Resident Evil 5. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. I was never a really big fan of any Resident Evil game with the originals. I loved the concept, but like Tomb Raider, the tank controls really turned me off. It wasn't until Resident Evil Code Veronica, which surely needs a remake by the way, for the Sega Dreamcast, where I truly became a fan. Although the single analog stick really helped with movement, it was nowhere perfect until the release of the dual sh analog sticks that became a dual shock that really took off for me on the PlayStation 2. With free camera movement and let's be honest, more intuitive controls, Resident Evil was primed to take advantage. I wasn't there for Resident Evil 4 as it was on the GameCube that I never owned and was too late in the PS2 life cycle. Then came the Xbox 360 and the demo release of Resident Evil 5. I was amazed to see how incredible the game looked and how action oriented it was, but that wasn't the real reason why it became my favorite. The game had many firsts with Resident Evil 5, but the one thing that stood out for me was the co-op. Resident Evil 5 was developed and released by Capcom in 2009 for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Microsoft Windows. It was later re-released with upgrade visuals and frame rates on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. This third-person action shooter, yes, not a horror survival game at its core, was an over-the-shoulder perspective that was very popular during that generation. Was produced by Jun Takachi, who also had a hand in Animusha and Lost Planet. KG Infune supervised the project using the powerful MT Framework engine. This installment brought a lot of firsts to the franchise with visuals, action, and co-op. Needless to say, with Resident Evil 4 success, they doubled down on the action with a friend. The story revolves around five years after the events of Resident Evil 4 and stars Chris Redfield with Shiva Alomar with Biotezerum Security Assessment Alliance or the BSSA. They are dispatched to West Africa looking for a bio-organic weapon on the black market and trying to uncover and stop whatever it leads to. Nothing too extravagant but the story gets the job done well enough throughout the game. The visuals were truly next gen at the time and really was fantastic to see and play. The environments, cutscenes were all well crafted and really pulled you in. The gameplay really defined next level for me here and the dual analog sticks and free camera movement. Of course the co-op experience was the star here. I played as Shiva with a friend and loved the weapons the game offered and how to really rely on your partner in strategizing on what to do next. This one game kept me up nights where all I could think about was head home from work and to play online. I haven't done that much since Fantasy Star Online on the Sega Dreamcast at that time. The voice chat with Xbox Live Online really gave the experience so much more than other games at that time and that much more fun to play. I still remember the frustration my friend and I had as we fought Jill and eventually Wesker and trying to figure out how to beat them over hours on end, retrying over and over again. The game wasn't always just action but there were strategizing together moments made the game that much more compelling and satisfying when you do figure it out together as a team. The game had very favorable reviews. The franchise, much like its movies, strayed away from the horror survival theme and more of a blockbuster action film. This of course led them to Resident Evil 6 that caused the fanbase to really split and fear the series has gone in a totally different direction, which it really did and caused Capcom to return to the root of survival horror later on. Overall, I know that I'm a bit biased here as I remember the game more fondly due to the experience I shared and the game was a blast to play. I also loved Resident Evil 6, but that game didn't have the impact as 5 did as the game's story really felt all over the place. This one game on Xbox Live 
really got myself into co-op games with friends and jump-started something more for me as I too became an online avid gamer and a true believer. Not so much now in my old age with a family and work, but still, what a fantastic experience and still my favorite Resident Evil game by a mile. That's it for this look at Resident Evil 5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. You've really become quite an inconvenience for me.